Uh, guys, just a quick one for you. So another day at work, a bit more plumbing. So all it was was a sink in a in a storeroom just down from here. Uh, washer with water out in the tap, so it's dripping. So after removing one of the panels from this old toilet, trying to find the stopcock, we found it down here, and you see these old these old isolation valves that you know are a good few years old. You dread touching them because you know the minute you do, they're going to start leaking. I've had to shut both of these off. These are both hot, going down that way. So for some reason, it took both to be shut off to uh, turn the water off down there, which is a bit strange. Not sure how the pipe work all goes down there. Can't see properly. But just a little tip. Well, you're fine. If these are really solid, you'll need to get some spanner or something on there to get a bit of leverage behind it. But guaranteed, the minute you start winding it in, you'll start leaking from this air. Uh, this I think they're called gland nuts I think it's the official term of them could be wrong on that one and basically all you got to do once you're finished messing about you've turned your water supply back on just get a spanner on this and just gently do this up a bit and you'll you'll find as you do that back up again the leak should stop sometimes you might have to undo it a bit get a little bit of a PTFE tape now you don't want to wrap it around the thread so much, it's more like loosely so as you screw it in it will kind of get pushed inside there. You can get a little screwdriver and start packing it down. Or I suppose if you did put it on the thread fairly thickly that might work as well. So sometimes you have to, sometimes you don't. But guarantee you, when you do these old valves, 100% it's going to start leaking from the nut. It has done on both of them. So I was expecting it, but it's always a little bit worry touching these old ones just in case they don't stop. But just a little tip for you. Catch you later. Right, I'm back already. I just watched that little little bit of footage back that I just done and actually noticed as I was watching it back that this uh, this lower one has still got a very slight drip on it every few seconds. So I shall just nip it up a, a little bit tighter. They don't go mad on them because you certainly don't want to break it in any way, but that's just, uh, you saw that's just moved it a few more millimetres, so uh, that'll probably be enough to stop it. I'll come back and check on it later. So what I tend to do when I'm doing any sort of plumbing work is you want to go back and check it after a while. If it's going to leak normally, you spot it pretty early on, but just to be safe, whatever you've done like this, I'll leave it open now and I'll come back a bit later on in the day, an hour or two from now and... I'll just dry that all off with some tissue. I'll come back, say, a couple hours from now and run my hand under there, make sure make sure it's definitely not leaking before you before you put the cover back on. Because once you, once you do these things and you seal it all back up again, then you're not going to think about it again. And a little tiny leak like that could be going for years and you probably wouldn't know about it. So always best to just double-check everything just to be sure. All right, I'll catch you later. Hey, everybody. Well, I... Check that a little while after then both of them were leaking slightly. So a bit awkward to film this, but basically I've undone took this nut all the way out, so you can undo that. I used to never do that because I always used to think if you did this whole spindle would pull out. But after watching a plumber once realise that doesn't doesn't happen. So I'll put the PTFE tape in, but say you're not so much trying to pull it around the thread, you're putting it around the spindle and you're gonna as this does up, that's going to pack that down in there. And I guess where these fail must be where that little spindle actually goes through. So you're just going to pack in the PTFE tape in there. And as you do it up, that's going to get packed down. And hopefully, we shall stop that leak. So you do lose a bit of water, obviously, while you're doing this. But not so bad here, it looks like that is a part of the drainage system down there from the shower that's adjacent to this. We're going for a job of site maintenance in the school. If you've got plumbing skills, that will definitely come in handy. Because there's never much of a gap between one plumbing job to the next. 
we can call in the professionals for the big stuff, but try and do what we can ourselves. Open that valve back up again before I do the, the final tighten. Spanner on that, obviously done that up pretty tight, trying to slow it down a bit. Not that that actually worked. Thing you should always do with these valves, which probably quite common knowledge now is that's fully open. Always turn it back just a quarter of a turn, just when the sea is up, gives you more chance of unseizing them if you can wiggle it back and forth a little bit. And inevitably, these things are always seized up because they go many years without being touched. Just nip that up now. Right, now hopefully that will now do the trick. I'll do the same on this lower one. So, but that normally works. I shall let you know the final results, but uh, that'll be a little bit line in between the thread and that, so it might drip for a little bit and then hopefully we'll just stop. Just got another little touch. I shall let you know whether that's worked or not, but hopefully it will do. Catch you later. Hello everybody, right, end of the day, I'll just come back to uh, check these uh, stopcocks again. Uh, I packed out the one and that all seems good now, definitely not leaking. This lower one, I was going to do the same too. I watched that for a while and nothing dripped out of it. So. In the end, I've not had to do that one. So, so that little trick normally does work. All you got to remember when you're doing it, it's not like you would do with most fitting where you're getting the PTFE tape on the thread. What you want to do is get it in on the spindle and then you're pushing it down. Because say where this spindle goes through the body inside, I'm assuming there must be some little washer of some sort on there that maybe fails over time. So even if you put the thread actually on the thread of the nut, you might stop it coming out from there, but then you'd probably find it just come out the front and trickle onto the spindle there. So it is, get it in there, pack it in there. And if it doesn't work the first time around, just do it again with a, with a bit more PTFE tape. And in my limited experience of doing this, it normally does solve the problem. Right, home time for me. About 10 to 9 at night, so get me arse home. I'll catch you next time around. Ta-da!